How you guys always come to celebrate Princeton Street Fair? Is that is that a nice time for you all? It is. We usually do very well on adoptions there, and uh, this year we're going to really miss it. So. Yeah, we miss having you there too, so we thought maybe we would feature a few of your animals and see if we might be able to find people out there who are interested in adopting. Awesome. So, That's what's great. the first one we're going to show? Uh, the first one is Mabel. Um, she came in once her owner passed away. Um, she is older. She's, she's not fixed yet, but you know, that would be included <laughs> in the adoption fee. She's strong. They are Chow and German Shepherd. Chow and German Shepherd. Yeah. So, so they're gonna get really, really big. Oh yeah, you can tell by the size of their paws. These are gonna be huge dogs. These are only about eight weeks old. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> and they're available for adoption right now as well. What's the process for someone coming in to take one of these home? Um, we just have to have uh, an ID. A lot of people think that if they're from out of Mercer County, they can't adopt, but that's not true. I have dogs in China, so <laughs> um, everywhere. Um, I'm not sure where these come in from. Uh, we just received them, and I think there's like three or four more in their litter. Um, they would have been part of the street fair because we like to take puppies and kittens. Um, but they're up here, they're available for adoption. Um, and they're really sweet and cuddly. And, do you always have a lot of kittens? Um, during this time of year, we do. Um, just because it's puppy and kitten season, so we get like really bombarded with um, kittens. But this year has actually not been that bad. This is our main cat room. This is our free room room, which means all the cats, they just mingle together. Um, you have some in the cages, but those don't get along. Um, so we have to keep them separated. When the cat comes in, we hold them in the back um, for 10 days to make sure there's no diseases or anything. And then we bring them up here. Males are then neutered. And then in here is our nursery. That's a messy one. Um, this is basically just a room for pregnant or nursing moms. This is where we have all of our big dogs, but most, as you see, all of that is empty. We use that for animal control when we bring stuff in. And then, then on, down this way is our adoptable dogs. Yeah. 